Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, Clip Gator. How do you like your new pen, man? It's pretty cool, man. Um, does it have Xbox? Um... It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing a little bit of Ark Survival Evolved. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day, just cooking up some meat. Give me some meat, man. I want some of this meat inside of my mouth hole. Give it to me. Oh no, mouth hole, now I'm sad. Just kidders. So just hanging out today, doing some stuff and things. Check it out, peeps. Getting some hot metal action up in this piece after the last episode. We got a little bit of metal in here now, and we're getting more and more of it. I spent a little bit of this morning just coming around with all my dinos. Oh, whoa, that was weird. Oh, whoa. Oh, are we going to be able to get out of here? What's going on? Oh, no, we're stuck. What is hap? P -p -p -ning. How did that even happen? Oh, man. Let me see if we can get out of here. Oh, 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 did he just fly out of the world? Oh, no, okay, come on. You can do it. Come on, get out of there, man. I don't have to tear my base down to get you out. Oh, sweet, sweet. Okay. So, that was crazy. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We're flying on a giant chicken. What could be better? It's a little bit rainy, but it's fine. We have a pig mole on the roof of our base, which makes everything really good. But yeah, I've been getting up here. I spent some time this morning just feeding all my dinos, making sure everybody's ready to rock and roll for the day. Um, I already came up here and did a trip down with a little bit of metal stuff and things as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, thank you guys very, very much for all your support on the last ARC video. It was unbelievable. All the support on the ARC stuff has been so great. So thank you guys so much. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And then that's it. <laughs> but yeah, so up here is where our, um, our metal foundry is, where our stuff and things have been going on. And um, it's going a little bit good. I really wish we could have put the foundry closer to where the metal is. Just having it, it, I mean, it's pretty close, but having it as far away as it is, it does make it a little bit difficult. It's really hard. Even with Tool, our super duper high level um, Ankylo, it still makes it a little bit difficult just because his weight is still, even though he's a super high level, still not the best. Let's go ahead and, are you going to sit? Sit, homie. You better not fly away. Just saying. Fix your game. All right. So over here, we got Tool up to 117th level now. And what does he got for a carry weight? Only 448. That's not really that much when you're talking about metal. I mean, it's kind of not even a mouse on a wheel. So as we level him up, um, hopefully, I think he gets some experience from harvesting. Fingers crossed. Um, he'll get some more carry weight in there. But we have a new guy. Speaking of carry weight, I'm going to have to show you this here in a minute. But um, we got a new guy. He's got a lot of carry weight. You're going to be, you guys are going to be psyched. I talked about it, or we did a little bit in the stream the other day. If you haven't already, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash slipgator and follow me there so you know when I'm streaming stuff and things. But we started doing a tame of something pretty high level, and uh, it's going to be pretty baller when you see what we got here. So let's drop some of this stuff for you here. Rock we don't really need right now, so uh, we're just collecting flint for spark powder. But um, yeah, going to do a couple of rounds here, get a little bit of hot metal action going up in this piece. Then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. I just did a once around the little ring up there and filled up all of these guys. So we got eight of the refining forges rocking and rolling. We got all of this metal too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost uh, another thousand. And what else we got? A little bit of obsidian, a little bit of crystal action up in this piece. Dropping it, popping it. And then we will get all this flint as well to start getting some spark powder made. Now here in the future update, they're going to be adding a craft all button, which I'm really, really excited about. Actually, now we can start popping maybe some of the spark powder out of here, the well, the 100s we have, like so. But yeah, there's going to be, I think, yeah, what do we got in here? Nothing. All right, sweet. There's going to be that craft all button. What? One? And that's going to allow you to craft as much of a thing as you can from uh, an inventory uh, or a machine or whatever. So it's going to be pretty baller. I'm really excited because this is what you have to do right now. Craft, 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 craft. And you just have to hold a button a bazillion times. And you just have to keep clicking it over and over and over and over. Oh, wait, they added it already, Craft All! I didn't even notice that they did that! They already added the Craft All button, it was amazing! They must have done it in an update last night. I haven't read the patch notes for today. Because these guys are so crazy, man. These Arc devs, they're absolutely unbelievable. 
they update their game like every four seconds. So looks like that that is already a thing, which is baller. So, and then we can just craft item again. Oh, that was cool. So cool. So, oh, we got, we're empty over here. We're going to leave tool uh, up here and we're going to let that stuff and things just do its uh, stuff and things. We're going to let the refining forges get the metal action going. And uh, we're going to head back down to the base. Man, it's a hot one today. Look at all the metal. Hot metal action. It's so much like, there's so much up here that's just, it's like more than you could ever need or even harvest with any single like animal or anything like that. A team of guys would, that would be really the best way. And you'd have to have, honestly, you'd have to have like 40 refining forges to be able to like get that, all that stuff processed. Uh, you know what I mean? Like in a, in a timely fashion, it would just be unbelievable. But yeah, so last night... We were hanging out, doing stuff and things yesterday, doing a little bit of hot stream action on Twitch.tv. So don't forget, to, don't forget to follow. Blah, blah, blah. And then um, we were looking for a high level Argent Harvest because we have our high level guy up there, Tool, our high level Ankylo. I want a high level Argent Harvest to make into like, uh, like a freight moving uh, guy. We really want to pump his weight really, really high so that um, we can get stuff and things from the base, a huge amount from the base up to the, um, up to the metal area there. But anyway, so we're looking for high-level Argent Harvest, looking for high-level Pterodons, too, because I want to get a new Pterodon. And we found a high-level something, something. 120th level, Wooly. Oh, my crap. Look at him. Look at him. Amazing he is. Look at little Samoth. Oh, little level 22. Just not even a mouse on a wheel. Wool Smith, 24. Man, you know, 120, bro. And I named him Feller. So because he's our tree guy, man. So he can fell trees. And um, also, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, Feller is the name of, like, a really high-end piece of forestry equipment. I think they call it a Feller. But anyway, it's kind of a double entendre. Thingy doodle alert. You guys coming? So, yeah, check him out. Let's look at his stats really quickly. I pumped only weight on him so far, but he started right off with 2,300 hit points. So he's got a huge amount of hit points. Uh, his melee damage is at 295 to start. His weight was only at, like, 5-something. Um, it wasn't really that high. And movement speed's at 226%. Um, so he's super fast. Well, for a giant woolly mammoth. But, um, yeah. So he pumped his weight up to about 700 now. So I'm interested to see how much he can carry. I've never had a woolly with this much weight before. I can't wait to get him up so he's really, really high. Um, but, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and test him out. I haven't tested him out yet. I really don't know how good he's going to be. So let's go ahead and gather up some wood and see. And we're back. And the boys have gotten all the stuff and things. Let's go ahead and get cleavage out of the way here. Come on, cleavage. Let's unfollow everybody. We'll move cleavage over like so over here. And let's just take a look at how much wood we got here. Now, one of the things that I noticed straight away that's kind of interesting is that Feller's uh, got a few levels on him now. So really hard to tell. I can't remember what level it is that we tamed him at. You, but, um, you know, when you tame it, like, if you tame a level 1 or you tame a level 100, it still takes the same amount of experience to get to level 2 or level 101. So, um, I'm not sure how many times I've leveled this guy up, but the next level is 450, and he's at 772 weight. Oh, we got the darkness. And then Will Smith's 24, so his next level is 910, so he's been leveled up more times, but his weight is 648. And then on Samoth... He's been leveled up even more times, and his weight is at 752. So you see what I'm saying? Like, this guy, Feller, will have uh, increased weight eventually, but it's going to take a few more levels. So really what I probably should do, why is there a big problem? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck inside you, Feller. This is disgusting. Oh, now I'm stuck inside. What? No! Hold on. Okay. Everybody, don't get me. Don't make me stuck inside you. So the amount of wood that we got, though, about a 1,000 on each guy. So you can see right here, we got a little over a thousand on this guy, um, but that's like three thousand wood, and it only took me—I don't know—like ten minutes. He got a little bit less. I, I grabbed some berries on this guy to use for different stuff and things. But yeah, about three thousand wood in about ten minutes. Um, pretty bar. Oh no! Our pig mole—he fell, and he's stuck. Oh no! This is a big emergency. Where's number or uh, Air Force One Eight? Let me see if we can grab him. This is a big emergency. I can't believe he tried to commit suicide. He's probably not smart enough to know that that fall wouldn't kill him. Those pig moles aren't too bright. All right, let's see what we can do here. We got him! We got him! Oh, it's okay, female Fiomi on the pig mole. We'll drop you out. Oh! Oh, look, man. He's doing a little bit of a dance. Stay right there. Don't move. 
Are you good? Are you fine? Are you well adjusted? Oh, she's shaking. Oh no, she's back. All right, great. We can't lose our roof tree pig mole person thing. So, all right, that was good deal. Good deal. So, uh, land please. And uh, time to just move some of this wood inside the base, yo. And we're back, and it's time to do a little bit of building, peeps. These guys need to get organized. So I was trying, trying to have a think about where we're going to put some dinosaur pens around up in this piece. And I was thinking about putting them along the wall right here. Let me use this so you can get a cursor. So uh, and some people ask how you get the cursor, and that's a server setting, by the way. So we have that enabled on our server. So I was thinking about all the way along this wall right over to here. And thinking about how that all works. And really, that's where most of like our bad animals and aggressive things are going to fall down. We bring our, our guys, like when we're off getting wood, we just walk them down the hill here. So we kind of want to keep all this area clear. And then when you walk in dinosaurs down in this area, you want to keep this whole area probably clear too, just so that, you know what I mean, there's space for those guys to walk around. So I'm thinking against this wall is going to be our best bet. Now it's three high, so we don't have to worry about the dinos falling or anything like that. So we should be good to go there. And I built a bunch of wooden fence foundations. As you can see, we've got them right up on this piece. Actually, let's put this guy away and then let's grab this guy. Now, let me see here. We're probably going to have to... Oh, wait. Are you, like, out and about? There we go. So, we got to see how these are going to snap. Look at it snapping all around like a snappy McSnapperton. Um, so, I think a little ways away from this wall. So, we have some room to walk up inside of here, like so. So, probably starting right... Where is the snap? Right there is probably a good idea. So, we'll bring them out like so. And then there's a snap there. And then I'm thinking we'll probably have to make them, like, a little bit wider. Actually, from the top of this guy, can we go like this so we can measure over, like, two spots? Is that going to be long enough? And then hopefully the dinosaurs can walk over that, or we can just destroy them. Um, but at least this way we'll get our snaps. So where are you snapping to? Right like this, and then like this. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about this, if we do it like this, I can't even get this guy to snap correctly. There, we had it a second ago. This is crazy hard. All right, so hopefully we can build walls right there. I gotta check this out, actually. Let's see, I think I might have some walls created. Um, I may not. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick and see if we've got some in our structures, stuff and things here. You got any walls, man? We do. Six walls. Is that going to burden us? No. Nailed it! I still can't be stopped. All right. So let's go ahead and pop in it. Pop in it down into the this. Pop in it. Pop in it. I said. All right. Now let's take our guys here. Oh, and you know what? It's going to be a little bit wacky because of the way I place these. That's one of the things I really hope that they get. we get in the future is a way to um, kind of snap walls uh, or rotate them either way. So like this, like this. And then are you guys going to place the other direction? You know what? I'm not going to really worry about the placement. It's such a pain in the butt to worry about that stuff. I just don't think that's something that we're going to concern ourselves with right now. So um, now we're going to have to go up another level. And I think we're just going to do these out of wood. So I think a two high like that is going to look really good. So then we could take like a dino, any of our dinos, uh, Jessica or Squirtle. Let's grab Squirtle because his movement speed super hyped. Check it out, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I moved... Oh, wait, where, that was movement speed. I pumped the movement speed of this guy up to 250. Look how stupid it looks, man. I wish there was like a creative mode where you could just play around and uh, pump stats on dinos and stuff and uh, see like what it is or how it is that how fast you could get some guys to go or something like that. So, all right, we got to back this guy in. Beep, beep. Because you always got to back in, man. You can't. I'm just telling you, you guys always you want to back in all of your stuff and things because it's just better that way. We don't want him to face the wall the whole day. Well, look at this. Perfect. Little dino pen for him. To do his stuff and things in. He can just sit right here. There's his little room, man. Look, he looks so happy in his little room. All right, so we got to start getting a couple more of these guys placed. We will try to get our snap points to snap like so. Nailed it. Aced it. Wait, 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 wait. Nailed it, aced it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where? What? Why don't you snap, peeps? Come on, be a snapper. Can't be stopped! All right, so now we got a lot more walls to build. And then we're going to need some bigger pens, of course, for some of the bigger guys. I also want to set something up for our Dodo army. 
so they have a little spot to do their stuff and things too and i think what we're gonna do is make sure a lot of these guys are set for passive it's like he already was we'll set these guys for passive and then what we'll do is we'll put a, like a guard out front for each one so some of these will be set for passive and then we'll put like claws out front and have him set for neutral so that if something comes down here happens to come down here and attack um then there'll be a guard on duty to duty and also to uh be defensive all right so time to build some more walls and stuff and things do a little bit more work and then i'll brbs peeps and we're back the dodo army with claws is going to be coming over here to our new little pens area they didn't really get like it's not like a really huge amazing thing or anything but we just got a little bit of stuff and things done over here and i'm going to show you some of the stuff that we did let's go ahead and get over here i want you to stay right here homie like a so and then we will uh no, unfollow me. There we go. And then let's see how the Dodo Army's coming, man. Come on, guys! Come on, faster! You're so slow, man. Let's get you guys right inside of here. Are you gonna walk all around, Claws? All right, Bruce. Come on, Bruce! Let's go, Bruce. Hey, stop wasting time over there, Bruce. Is there a Bruce back there? Bruce, what are you doing, man? All right, we have to use the y command to try to get these guys to unfollow because we can't i'll show you why i did some stuff and things as far as the 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 guards go are you unfollowed now no there's another one over here you unfollow me now no no you unfollow me there's got to be a better way <laughs> got it nailed it a stick can't be stopped all right claws actually he can't move with me on him because i'm too fat come over here homie all right, no, hold on. Everybody just calm down. You're not following, you're still following. All right, come here, Bruce. Bruce, get in here, homie. You can do it, I believe in you, Bruce. This is the most amazing thing that Bruce has ever done his whole life. All right, so right here. Now you unfollow, all right. So now let me get on to Lego and get him, get Claws. Let me see if I can get it here. Claws, follow Lego, man. Oh, what a pain in the butt this is. I can't get it. All right, maybe we'll just have to leave it the way it is. So what I was trying to do... Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. What I'm trying to do is have each guy fall, so check it out. Now we've got Brandon following Brian. What's up, Brian? Hey, Clip Gator. How do you like your new pen, man? It's pretty cool, man. Um, Does it have Xbox? Um, No, no, there's no Xbox. Then the PlayStation, then, maybe? Uh, no, man. There's no PlayStation. It's just a pen, though. You could, It's kind of like your own little room. Yeah, man, it's good. I I, had, I normally share a room with my brothers, but now I have my own room. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad you like it, man. It's, it's cool. Yeah, definitely cool. Is there blenders? No, there's absolutely no blenders, Brian. You don't need to get near any more blenders, buddy. Look at that. Yeah, I know, and I just like to see them going around and stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, I do. You definitely... Yeah, okay, moving on. So, um, Jessica is following Jessica, and Kevin is following Squirtle. So, the, these guys are now all set for passive, and these guys are all set for neutral. So, if something comes around here, I think this guy's set for neutral. Let's actually take a look here. No. Oh, crap. Did I just whistle everybody neutral? Crap, this... Uh, they need to make this easier, I think. He's neutral anyway. So that's the plan. These guys are going to get set for passive. All right, there we go. We'll set them for passive. So they shouldn't move. These guys, all these pens should just stay here. There we go. I wasn't. It wasn't that the game was confusing. It was that I was confused. All right, so... Uh, no, not red. Set them for passive. And I got to do it for all these other little guys, too. For all the Bruces as well. So that these guys just don't move around if something comes in attacks. So, a couple of these guys got level up, so I'm just not too worried about it. Now, the service animals that we have, the guys that are like... Look at this, it's crazy. All right, no, we got that guy ready. And you are neutral. Cool. So, the service animals that we have, like our mammoths and cleavage and these guys, I want them to kind of be closer to the entrance here. So, I think I am going to put their pens over in this area. Um, that way, I can just kind of come over here, get on them, and take them right out. And for our flyers... I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking because Pig Mole on the roof here has been able to stay on this roof and, he, and through restarts and stuff, he hasn't clipped through. Um, I think that what I'm going to do is build walls around the top of the roof here and then that'll be where we land our flyers right up here. I think that'll be pretty cool. 
So, that being said, time to do more building, peeps. And we're back, and everything's organized. It actually looks kind of bare and plain out here now. It looks like nothing's going on. I'm not sure how long it'll stay like this. At least these guys over here, though, they can stay, you know, we'll... Because we don't really use them that much. Like, we don't use Squirtle or Jessica the, the uh, Turtle that much or, or Lego that much. So these guys will be good to go. Oh, give me that egg, yo. Give it to me. I want to eat your eggs. And we got a lot of XP on some of these guys because I've been doing a ton of building. 150 hit points. Bruce, you're a tank, man. Do you guys level up too? So I made the um, the working animals, the guys that I'm going to take out more often, um, a pen over in this area. And I found out some interesting stuff. Mammoths are more than two walls wide. So I tried to make the pen, as you can see here. I tried to make it so that it was like um, there would be uh, the wall and then two foundations and then a wall. And so these are these guys are wider than two walls. But it's funny. They're wider than two walls. If you were to put a wall here, you couldn't get him in there. But this is only six walls wide, and I can fit three in. So the walls themselves have like a little bit of a hitbox or something like that. I don't know. Then we got cleavage in this tank right here. And uh, ankylos, oddly enough, are wider than one foundation. So this had to be two. And then we've got all these guys. 113, baby! You leveled up, man. So, um, oh yeah, hold up. Let's go like this, like this. Change name, 113. Nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. So, um, yeah, and we got him defending these guys over here. So stuff and things are much more organized, peeps. And guess what? That's not going to be it for today. I have a bonus clip for you at the end of the video. But yeah, so thanks for watching. A little bit of organizational stuff and things. Got to hang out with Brian a little bit. I had a really good time hanging out with you. I hope that you did too. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. And don't forget to stick around for the bonus clip. Down, synchronize downhill pooping. And may the stuff and things be with you. Ooh. All right. Good age, boy. I'm as close as it can get. All right. Are you ready? Wait, no, I'm not. I feel like my butt's sure. higher than yours, so my poop's gonna get like more velocity. Cause like that extra foot that it has to fall, it's gonna fall faster, man. You don't know nothing about poop velocity. I do, dude. I know about gravity. Gravity is the speed that poop falls. Everyone knows that. I think the powder on your legs are gonna slow down the viscosity of the poop. Tiny's poops are heavier. Coming out, Obviously. coming out of your, coming out of your rear. I think that's what's gonna happen. You're okay, going you down. ready? All right, you ready. ready? Three on go, not uh, not one, not not between one and go on go. So we're and gonna go. go three, two, one, go. This is the test. So I'm gonna test go. it. It'll, we're gonna say just so I know. Three, two, one, go. And then when you say go, that's when you press obviously it. go. Right. It's not on right. two because that's misleading because two is number two, but not number two. That's correct. Which you would think maybe that would be when you would sit when you would do it, but no. We can do three, two, one, Z if that makes sense because Z is poop. So three, two, one, Z, and when you hear the word Z, you just press Z. That's like an advertisement books. for your channel. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, that's an advertisement for the tribe. I'll press take Z to poop. www.youtube.com slash Zuljan. That's, that's right. Check yeah. them out, peeps. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. Are you angled, right? Is are you in selfie mode with yeah, the butt I'm ready. I'm showing I'm, toward I'm the camera? I'm super ready. Okay. Three, two, one, Z. Oh, my oh totally my kicked God. your butt! Look at you, how fast you poop! Look at my poop! It's I winning! You won. You, you won. You won. Mine went you got, further. You got to your point faster and, and further. And further. That's right. Oh my God. That's insane. My poops how, are amazing. How how did you poop like that? Okay. Tiny poops right. are better. You just I have crappy poops. How about... Okay, you know what? What? <laughs> That's super how you poop, poop. Rage, baby. Super poop, man. Super poop. Poop boulder. That was a poop boulder. Oh, look uh, at this. I can see I like a lot of fiber up your nose. It looks like you're putting it up to your ear. Hello? You have. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, Sonny? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> can you speak up? <laughs> you look like an old man. <laughs> I can't hear you. What'd you say? <laughs> Wait, let's look. I gotta look in the hour. Put your hourglass up again. There. Oh, I can't see your eye through it. Yours is like looking off to the side. It. It's all foggy. What? Yours is like, it <laughs> looks like you're holding it up to your ear. Oh? No, it looks like I'm holding it up to my eye. Oh, no, I can't. It's kind of to my cheekbone. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm listening. Sea sales. 
she sells seashells by the seashore. Mine, I That's... put it right up in my thing, man. Right up in my you, gr grill. You, but your face is so big. No, Tiny's a huge man. And plus, you got that. Oh, no, you kind of put it by your ear, too. No, Tiny yeah, knows how do. to use it. You when look you at me. You you're your trying head. to look through when your you ear. Your head, no, when you, you can't your look head, through your is. ear. <laughs> I can look anywhere I want. <laughs> look at this. Zoom. I got a cool. This is cool, man. If you go into your third person menu and then you zoom, like, uh -huh. you go into your K menu. Uh huh. And then oh, it, like, I see zoom. the back of my head. Yeah, it zooms your way in. Well, you got to turn really your camera around. My hair better. They really could have did you, my hair. You look better. like an old man. I'm, I see the pores on my head. Do you have a lot of pores too? I do you're, have a lot of pores. You're very pores. I'm, oh, your neck hands, is all though. chicken turkey. Like a oh chick god, chicken turkey. Your neck is, is that, all grizzly. That's like that's like the cheap version of a turducken. Yeah, chicken turkey. A chicken, <laughs> chicken. We forgot the duck. Oh well, it's a chicken turkey. It's a chicken turkey. <laughs> <laughs> hee hee.